I paid attention to what I was doing all the time. I wasn't after glory or this or that. I was after one thing, win. For 33 years, Hugo Ditfa dedicated his life to becoming a world-class jockey. His keen work ethic and professional focus earned him the nickname Hustlin' Hugo. His prolific pension for winning races made him a legend. It wasn't so much a joy, it was a satisfaction. I was a jockey and I had to prove myself by winning. Ditfa's journey defied the odds. After World War II ended, the nine-year-old German-born boy and his family spent three years in a Russian prison camp in Poland. In addition to seeing his grandmother killed, Ditfa nearly wasted away, dropping from 115 pounds to just 48 pounds. When you're a prisoner, you do what they tell you. If you don't, you die. Every night I crawled out, out of the camps, and I would pick potatoes and stuff and stuff them inside my uh, shirt. Everything edible I would put in there and I brought it back, and so we always had something to eat, which was great. Otherwise, I guess we wouldn't have been here. Once free, Ditfa eventually emigrated to Calgary. His small stature led him to the racetrack, and in 1956, he began riding races. The natural proceeded to dominate the prairie circuit. Following the horrors of captivity, the winning and the horses helped heal him. Oh, absolutely. I, I, I went to a way where I could see them if they needed to be fed or watered or something like that. I didn't have to wait or do this and that. I could see that. And when I was riding them, I could feel that. In 1958, Ditfa moved to Woodbine. In 1961, he won the riding title and scored a dramatic win in the Queen's Plate on long shot blue light, beating legendary jockey Johnny Longden. Hustlin' Hugo went on to win the Prince of Wales five times at Fort Erie, where he also recorded his 2000th win. In 1975, he was the first rider to win the inaugural Sovereign Award as Canada's top jockey. And in 1989, he got career win number 4,000, then retired to pursue a training career, where he enjoyed success as well. I didn't like, like it. I loved it. I loved it. I didn't want to do nothing but race right. This is all, and I still feel the same now. It hasn't changed. For me, sitting on a horse, yes, that's what I want. <laughs>